poem number five in my poetry series. My wife, Dorothea, Clive's mother, used to open her studio twice a year as part of the East Nuke Open Studios from 2004 to 2012. And we used to get a lot of visitors, 182 on one notable weekend. She would sit in her studio at the top of the house and I was responsible for admitting the visitors and telling them what to expect. For instance, I used to tell them that going up our stairs to her studio was like going through a CV as she had painted in each place she had lived. I also read to them the poem that I'm going to give to you now, Colours of Scotland or Dorothea's Studio Stair, which is essentially an invitation to go and meet her. It was written by Christine Crow, a friend of Dorothea's, after she had visited her in December 2004. There is a reference in the poem to snowdrops, and you should know that the German term is snowbells. The poem is headed by a verse from Goethe's Selige Sehnsucht, and before I read the poem, I give you a translation of that verse into the English language. And so long as you have not attained it, this die and become. You will only be a gloomy guest on this dark earth. So here is the poem. Colours of Scotland or Dorothea's Studio Stair by Christine Crow. Und so lang du das nicht hast, dieses stirb und werde, bist du nur ein trüber Gast auf der dunklen Erde, Goethe, selige Sehnsucht. From the robes of winter darkness and the speechlessness of night, climb with me this tall white staircase to the little room above where she shines in her grey waistcoat painting snowdrops, blue with light, hung with traces of loved places, little boats and faces lost, this no ordinary stare, space and time reframed by will, courage born as tried despair, coming up again for air, it weaves the story of her life. High above the lonely beaches, chrysalis rapid in her sail. Here she sits, transforming winter with her spiral, made of sight. I know, because I saw her there. Blue, blue snowdrops, ringing, ringing. Little bells of fresh endeavour, second spring in Celadite. Snowdrops were one of Dorothea's favourite flowers, as indeed of her mother as well. Mm -hmm.